Hello and welcome to Shiva Online Classes. Standard 9 today I will be taking Unit 3 Supplementary. Uh, that is the name of the lesson is Earthquake. Okay. Now what is Earthquake? First I will tell you uh, introduction about the Earthquake and then I will explain the story what happened. Right. What is an Earthquake? Earthquake takes place when the two blocks of earth suddenly slip past one another. The surface where the slip is called a fault place. Sometimes an earthquake has four shocks. They are smaller earthquake that happen in the same place before a larger earthquake takes place. The larger main earthquake is called the main shock. They are all always followed by a main that is of aftershocks that occur in the same place and continue for weeks. So this is the introduction to the earthquake. Okay, what happened that day? that uh, that uh, village there the name of the village is molti molti village it is uh, near the himalayas okay and um, the aftershocks i told you just uh, just now i told you it happened near the valley valley of molti a small village there it had had, had uh, how many villages there are so many villages in that half of the village were wiped out because of near the himalayas there was a uh, the the earth suddenly uh, there was a severe earthquake and the whole village had been covered and it was rubbles only they couldn't see one house also there so that that kind of a earthquake a major major um, earthquake had ha occurred that time okay and now what happened is now the main characters i'll tell you characters are bridge he was that time that is when the earthquake occurred he was only 13 12 13 years old 12 or 13, 13 years old he was and he had a uh, he had a family that is uh, his uh, he had no father his grandfather passed away his grandfather built that house it was a uh, say uh, stone house okay not uh, not very not very rich person or ordinary economically low background only they used to stay in that house but they had a own house of them they had a own house that they were in a house uh, grandfather had built and who were there in the house grandfather and father passed away bridges mother grandmother one brother his name is neelu and uh, his baby sister her name is bully okay the, these were the characters there then what happened is one day uh, bridge uh, uh, that is he had to go and buy books uh, his known he's going to school so he has to buy books so from there he goes to puri that's one another one place uh, he very near to delhi Okay, Naknau Delhi, that's it. So he had to go there and get the books and there his, he had his uncle's house. So he went there, he, before going, uh, uh, he just, uh, his, his mother, grandfather, grandmother and the brother were there. He just, uh, they waved out to him and then uh, he went to buy his books. So that was the last time when, this, when he saw them. Okay, then he went there to Puri and he bought his books. And then after he bought, he was resting in his, grand, his uncle's house. And then only he got the news that there is a major earthquake that ha happened and there's those aftershocks I told you now, no? Before I told about the introduction about the earthquake, I told you about the aftershocks. The aftershocks had been, the epicenter is his Molti village in the Himalayas. The aftershocks had been, had occurred in Delhi also. That is where he had gone, very near to Delhi, that Puri, that uh, place, very near to uh, Puri is uh, Delhi. So the aftershocks had gone till there. So then uh, he, there was not that much that aftershocks only. Then he learnt about this, that is, uh, this, this one uh, earthquake happened. So he immediately, that um, at that time there was not, uh, like uh, vehicles were very, unless he was not getting any bus or anything to go. Then somehow he got, uh, he came with his uncle and then he uh, came to his uh, village. When he came to his village, there was nothing there. The whole village had been wiped out. There were uh, nearly, uh, that is, uh, 670, 670 villages there, okay, so that is in the, in the village, so many houses were there. Out of that, only six and 602 were totally wiped out, okay, to that is nothing, there was nothing there, just uh, stones and uh, sand, that's it. Everything, all the buildings, all the houses were and gravel that is fully they were like gravel, gravel nothing was there debris full debris only so so 602 villages were destroyed out of that in in that destroyed thing his uh, house also was destroyed 
so he was just looking and just uh, was crying and he was he was not in a state to uh, like what to do because the whole family had been wiped out nobody is there with, with him now okay so his grandfather his grandmother his mother neelu that is his brother and holy all of them had been uh, uh, all of them died so then uh, some officers had uh, tried to uh, arm, army had come in that is this kind of a uh, emergency situation this kind of a uh, that is uh, epidemics what happened army comes in the army officers had come and uh, helped uh, to bring out the bodies the cops that the uh, dead bodies to come bring it out they un unraveled the thing the earth leather and then they brought out one one uh, body they had got and in that uh, he uh, that is he, they were able to recover his mother's brother and grandmother's body had been there and he was in such a state like he was uh, so sad he was he was not able to uh, like what to do next because the whole family is been wiped out now before he, he didn't have his father and his grandfather and now everybody nobody is there is alone like uh, like one often he was feeling very sad then the army officer said you have to somehow uh, that is you have to they what they do last rites of the bodies no he has to go and cremate them so it's getting evening please go and cremate the bodies so his uncle went and then he as they were cremating then suddenly he remembered his sister his baby sister bhuli he said no 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 wait i have to search for my sister unless i get my uh, sister then i will not leave this place then the army of the al almost is going to be uh, the evening time say 5 o'clock the whole day the army, army officers have been uh, uh, so much hard work they been doing that is and going around getting out bodies from the ground everything and now towards the evening the, for them it is a resting time okay then the uh, army officer says uh, i don't think we can get your uh, uh, sister because already a small baby it is two year two year old baby and then in the rubble what had happened two days since two days they have been uh, clearing this place okay so in that uh, by night time somebody would have come and uh, that is any wild animal would have come and uh, taken the child so he said then even then he did not believe he said no 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 i want to see my sister i want to see my sister like my whole family is wiped out at least i i am have a have a small ray of hope that she may be alive the small child please search for her search for her so then the army officer says no it is already time up and night time we cannot uh, search for uh, anything in day time itself not able to see and uh, night time how can they see any uh, if anybody is uh, in the rubbles okay that is in the the whatever that is in the earthquake there what happened so they said no not possible so this uh, thing uh, bridge started crying he said no no please help me army officer please help me and then uh, then till then uh, this the other bodies were cremated and then after he was sitting there in the rubbles only bridge did not go now it was almost uh, say 7 o'clock the total darkness whole pitch darkness because the whole there was no electricity nothing and the army officers used to stay in the camp outside uh, that is little away from the uh, where the spot of earthquake was then everything was total darkness so then afterwards he was sitting there crying away then uh, then suddenly after a few minutes three army officers had come with crowbars with lot of uh, tools and all that you no know, they came and then he was so relieved this uh, tear tear faced uh, he came, they came and said don't worry we will somehow search for your sister so then afterwards feverishly that is they were uh, taking out the rubble even he was helping that is bridge also was helping remove the stones and all that because where his house is he knew you no know, the spot where it was so from there he kept on taking out the army officers took out all the um the the that stones and the boulders and rocks and sand everything they were removing and then finally he could see his main door that is house main door then bridge said na that is the door that is the door of the room and so he said then slowly take out then they they saw one small leg 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 of the child then he was so relieved hope she is alive he was just thinking hope she is alive and then slowly they removed it and how many hours since that uh, earthquake had happened 116 hours 116 116 hours the child was lying beneath the rubble okay and see still alive miraculously she was alive so carefully they took her out the the dough had fallen on her like if the dough had not fallen on her if the stone had hit her means she would have died okay now what happened the dough was protecting her like that so they removed the dough and uh, took that baby and they went to the hospital nearby hospital and then uh, uh, then after he saw the bully he just took her sister and ran to the hospital 
and then he forgot that he had to thank the army officers so then afterwards when he came back they he thought they are going to be there but that was the last day of operating that is the relief operation is over so because the last uh, thing uh, that is victim had been uh, recovered so everything their job is done so what happened that night itself they left the army officers left to another place to go and rescue the people meanwhile what happened uh, bridge his uncle and bully taken bully to the hospital and uh, she was recovering and then only he came back he said i have to thank the army officers when he came nobody was there so everybody left from since that time now who who is there he was so happy at least one member of his family was alive his small sister now what he has to do he left his studies he went to get his books in uh, puri that place now now what happened is just because he went only he was he survived otherwise he would not have he also would have been killed now he and his sister bully what happened now he 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 not continue his studies uh, bridge so he what happened is he worked in uh, some hotels as a waiter and uh, because he has to feed his sister no so he go he went and worked as a waiter then cleaned vessels like that every day small small uh, jobs he did and somehow try to uh, get a meal for both of them and then like this it went down like this and then he worked in a tea stall he went to a, a small tea stall and he was working there and then he knew how to make tea how to make all that the so other whatever that is then afterwards what happened at the young age of uh, uh, 15 years 15 years what happened he went and opened a tea shop uh, his own tea shop okay open then he started making tea and whatever whoever travelers went that side he used to give the near the bus stop and then this story this story actually starts from there only that is from the tea stall and till then he tells the story fully no what happened is from that time he had in his mind like i did not thank the army officers so that that was what deep in his heart said i didn't even thank no without because of those three army officers only my sister is alive otherwise uh, he she would have just uh, uh, suffocated and died in that place itself so i have to thank him too, but he couldn't see them no he didn't see them again after that so in that uh, hope what happened is now he has opened a tea shop no near the bus stop so any traveler that comes uh, traveler and uh, army officers whoever comes there he gives them free tea sometimes only he will take tea uh, the uh, money for the tea otherwise if any army officers comes there and stop stops near his tea shop he will give the army officers free he won't charge them for money because each officer who he, uh, he meets no he think he'll uh, his uh, rendering his uh, gratitude to them so they help me no they help me to save my uh, sister so from that day onwards till now then afterwards he used to he educated his sister now his sister is from 2 years now 4 years no since this happened 4 years back only this happened so when he traveler comes no he will talk about his family and like this this happened so one traveler which had come there one officer had come there he was telling about his story like this this happened so that was a flashback of this now he is 17 year old okay that flashback before he was 13 years old and now he is 17 year old opened a successful uh, tea shop not very um, is not making a tea so like a uh, very tasty but uh, ordinary but whoever comes there he'll be, he'll give them free tea that's what uh, this story is about he never forgets the gratitude so what is this story telling you never forget to thank anybody you should keep that uh, thankfulness always keep gratitude okay always remember those who are doing good to us will always be remembered okay so hope this uh, you like the story and whatever uh, question answers are given to you please uh, study it and then for this uh, supplementary main thing how to study is mind map and you must know to write the paragraph that's all there are no short questions for this okay you know you have to learn the paragraph that is a story format write the characters and then uh, the introduction and then uh, the full story and conclusion if you want to write the moral also you can write okay and in then and then you have to write the that is uh, um, identify the character speaker who spoke these words for that what you should do is uh, i have taken the lesson now you go back and read the lesson fully okay read the lesson then only you'll understand whatever i am telling you it will be correct okay okay children thank you